Hello folks and welcome. So Fedora 38. This is the KDE Plasma, not known. So a lot of folks um, probably are not aware that you have other spins on Fedora. And today's video is going to be about the latest version of the Plasma desktop. There's lots of folks out there that make Plasma desktops and they have different spins on things. But this is for Fedora 527.8 uses a 6.5 series kernel. And, uh, and I'm going to be talking about uh, just generally the overview for the system. If you're not that familiar with Fedora, I'll take you on their website and point to the direction where you can download that. We'll discuss the, about the distribution a little bit too. I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close that screen. All right, the reason I threw this up here is um, lately, if you do not see that logo, this round logo sitting here on your screen, you're not on my official channel. You're watching this on somebody else's. However, if you do see that circle, you can click it to subscribe. This is just a logo that's sitting up there. Okay, but the official icon is sitting here. You should be able to click it and subscribe if you see that. If you don't see that, you're on somebody else's channel. I do have over 240 videos to offer you with all kinds of stuff. Anything from beginners to medium to advanced. So Linux for seniors. Actually, it's Linux for any age. Now I'm going to continue. So let's go take a peek at DistroWatch. So I will uh, first of all get rid of some of these messages and commercials, or try to at least. So uh, Fedora is uh, out of the United States. So DistroWatch is uh, some places where you can get information about Fedora, but there was a change on three. Um, sorry, on 1018, not 318. So that's today's date. So um, under general conditions, a lot of people use the GNOME desktop workstation. I'm going to talk about the uh, KDE Plasma today. And you can get that at getfedora.org. I don't use the popularity factor at all on DistroWatch, but you can certainly find that link on my YouTube site in the About section if you're curious. So if you get on their website, normally people click on the workstation. Very common. It's GNOME. Downstairs, though, are different spins which you can click on and here is the plasma desktop and some others okay just on FYI so what's new in plasma this stuff I'm really not going to read that to you but uh, actually that'll probably be better I'm resizing stuff on the fly um, kde.org announcements is where you can find this information I'm going to slowly scroll all my videos have timelines and chapters you can always hit uh, stop and go reverse if you're seeing something you want to take a peek at but in general I would just encourage that you go on the, the kde.org website and take a peek at this all right so a lot of the desktops that uh, are out there that use plasma they also have different well options and this one is no exception. So this is your standard Fedora desktop layout, for instance. Today, I'm not using a custom cursor. If you're used to seeing some of my videos with a custom cursor, not today. You can certainly get new ones. So I'm using the standard one with a size 48 today. All right, so let's talk about a couple things like software. If I were to type in SO soft, I get discover and DNF Dragor. So I'll start with that one. So um, I'll let this load for a second. The cache is building and you can install software from here and also discover software center and of course terminal. So where's the stuff coming from here? So again, if you're on some, if you're using a plasma desktop somewhere else, you're not going to have this. All right. So, just DNF Dragor. Now let me um, close that and let's open up Discover Software Center. All right, you got the about here, 527.8. And where's that stuff coming from? I'll go full screen. So you can see there's a lot of stuff made reference to while Fedora. You also have at the very bottom missing backends if you want to install the snap backend. Okay. The flat packs are already enabled, both from flathub.org and also from Fedora. 
All right, and you can do simple searches up here. Let's say you're looking for like GIMP. GIMP is like Photoshop, and I use it pretty heavily. Take a look at the, there's three sources there. Okay. But in either case, you'll find some of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna pull that down. All I'm doing is double clicking, double clicking, pushing it up, pulling it down just for some tips here. As long as my mouse cursor is away from that top line. Okay. Anyways, so that's software. We have K runner running, so you can either type searches in here. Mark is just a made up name. I like to have fun with some different names once in a while when I film. Is if you start typing, I'm gonna look for calculator, C-A-L. It's the second item actually. It says run cal, but right below it, I'm gonna hit the arrow key down one and hit enter. So right now I opened up KCalc. So I can do my calculations or whatever else. You can also double click to go full screen doesn't matter where anywhere in that white space area and you can also click and hold and pull it straight up and pull it down another thing for closing um, any any window for it is alt and f4 all right so now that we got krunner out of the way we have favorites what's in favorites firefox contact is a personal information manager system settings dolphins and discover center you also have that on the panel and a lot of these icons are on the panel. Okay. Under admin, again, the DNF Dragora for installing and removing software and also soft discover software center. And of course the firewall there. Development, education, games. There's three installed. I'm not going to click on anything. And uh, graphics may want to think about maybe installing um, Krita or maybe GIMP. Also, there's a welcome screen. You can install both of those from that welcome screen and um, here's the internet category it's quite extensive multimedia I added both OBS and VLC because I'm recording with OBS and VLC is just my preferred video player or media player all right so um, I believe this is 7.4 if I recall correctly no it's 7.5 sorry uh, LibreOffice may want to take a peek at the Discover Center. There might be a newer version there too. All right, so a um, couple of more things in here. Address, book, contact manager, and etc. Again, a lot of these um, distributions that produce Plasma desktops have different stuff in their menus. And of course, uh, Fedora is no exception. Utilities. And don't forget, if you're making changes, I do recommend screenshots on any distribution. Here's the welcome center. Okay, so if you were to cycle through these, um, these are clickable. Don't forget, K runners always running in the background. And here's where you can click these. So if you want the Krita, just click that and take a peek at the screenshots. And here's your install key and here's the different sources. So choose your version, as one would say. Oh, there's other stuff in here, too, of course. Okay, I'll close that. I left out help, but I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Standard stuff out of the file manager. Um, double click, double click, click and hold, pull down. Resizing icons this way. And I'm using a USB based computer mouse. You can use a hardwired. I'm not talking touch pads here. Hold on your control key, scroll up, let go of the control key, press it down again, and scroll back and forth. It does come in handy when you're resizing icons. I'm going to use Alt and F4. And uh, I am really, I'm not going to continue going here. I think most of the stuff in here are fairly self explanatory as far as the, uh, the icons are concerned. Thank you for watching.